when you haven't food prepped, but you've got fruit, right? Day two in Stoke, Friday the 9th of February. I think we've got five or six properties to view today and a big gym session at Strength Asylum. Let's do it. I have got three hours while Andy drives, bless him, and I'm going to edit um, episode of the podcast and start on my new book, which is E Myth Revisited. Heard good things, so yeah, I know what it's like.
Unreal starts the day, first property, very good. Gonna put an offering on that and yeah, great gym session, shrimp asylum, unreal. So every every Friday now we're coming up here, we'll be getting a session in at that gym 100%. Lunch in Stoke today then chaps. On is on offer. Some kind of roll. These 90p each. Unbelievable macros. Protein per pack, 20 grams, that's 40 grams, and some of these rice cakes. Oh, and some strawberries. Fantastic. Jack, how's your day in Stoke, mate? Yeah, you know. Just put up that fucking house! <laughs> oh, mate, how do I put the seat back? I need to lie down. <laughs> oh, we need to get out for a beer, but we're stuck in a fucking car. I can't, look how red I've gone. Woo! Woo! We've got fucking hells! <laughs> there's one man, and there's another man. We just got fucking hells! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so hot and bothered. I needed a monster before I started this journey, and now I'm fucking water. <laughs> <sighs> I need a decaf, and a fucking beer, and ten pizzas. Exciting times. Um, the first property is has been accepted and providing everything goes through and yeah, it could be our first house in Stoke. Well, it is our first house in Stoke. And first one to our portfolio. And yeah, I wasn't expecting it to happen as quickly, but basically we was on our way back from Stoke yesterday and we placed an offer on a house and didn't quite comp completely fit in with the strategy and the plan, but we just said that we want to get the ball rolling. We're prepared to make a few sacrifices to make, make it work. And yeah, we've got a deal on a house and hopefully the deal will go through pretty quickly and then you'll be able to see us renovating it. And when I said I was going to do it in a pair of pants, I'm, I'm going to stick to that and I'm going to renovate that property. And I, I'm useless for renovating, so I'm just going to make it a bit of fun and put some good tunes on and try and have fun with it and obviously make it a very nice home for a lovely family up in Stoke, hopefully. So. I'll obviously document the whole process from taking it from where it is now to where we want it to be. Um, it, it doesn't take; it's not going to take that much work, so it isn't as run down as some of the properties you would have seen in previous videos. Um, but yeah, so excited yesterday coming back in, in the car. Obviously, I haven't bought a house before in my life, so me and Andy were just going crazy, and we was on the phone to our other partner Simon, and we were just we were just really really excited. So had a few celebratory drinks last night, and a nice dinner, and yeah, back to the graph today, and. Yeah, it's a great time. So it's the weekend now. Um, I'm going to post this video today. Um, we're probably going to call it "Bought Our First House" or whatever. And yeah, hopefully sooner or later we'll be able to show you the the property. Um, but yeah, all around a good day in Stoke. We was coming back feeling a little bit not not negative, but we were thinking this is going to be more difficult than before. And then all of a sudden it went from being an uh, average day into a, the most amazing day and day that we'll remember forever. So uh, what I would say is that what we learned from yesterday is don't ever give up on a day like a day could go really badly or you could you could like have a really bad day and have 
a lot of things not happen like you want them to. Like we, I'm expecting them to go in these properties and think, yep, yeah, they're perfect, the, the numbers work, I'm just, just going to buy it. Um, and it wasn't really happening like that. And we were looking at these properties and it wasn't really work, making sense and adding up. So we were just like, is this going to be the right investment area? And we were just questioning things. And then, well, we come out of the day with a house. So I just would say, if you're going into things and feel like not everything's going your way, whether it be with a body of transformation, whether it be with your work, or whether it be with your relationships and it's not going well, it can all turn around in, in just one like, decision or in one one, te one one piece of action that you'll take. So this is the, this is the key though. Don't wait around expecting things to happen. Take action, and then when just take action, and some, something will come. Happen, something will happen, and um, yeah, you'll, you'll either get a, an answer that you can learn from, or you'll get an answer that can, you can learn from and use. And and, and obviously, like, we've got the property, so they could have said no, and we'd have learned from it, or they said yes, and we've gone and run with it. So the same with a, any kind of thing that you do, you take action on it, if it doesn't go well, you learn from it, and if, so it's an opportunity, whereas and if it goes really well, then happy win-win. So always take action, because losing is often better than winning, because you're learning. And then the next time you go and do something, we take action, you'll make a better decision. So stop sitting around, go and take action, and then all of a sudden, things will start happening in your life that are, that are good. Um, now I'm not saying you have to go and do what X, Y, and Z, but wherever you're chasing, like just do th just do things towards it, and you'll you'll get closer to where you want to be. Wherever you make mistake after mistake after mistake, this is what I've done for the last seven eight years. I've just made mis so many mistakes in business, and it's got me to a point now where things are starting to happen because I've made all my mistakes. And I'm learning from them, and I'm making bad decisions now. And now obviously I'm in a different business now with property, so this could be a massive mistake. And hopefully, hopefully it's not. But if it is, it is what it is. You know. Um, long video again. Cut it short, um, but yeah, the, the gym in Stoke as well is amazing. So we're so happy that's our investment area because the gym is so good. So every Friday now will be a case of gym session, view loads of properties, and just trying to have as much fun as we can. And yeah, so the, the, that drive yesterday was the, the drive back was hilarious. Me and Andy were like singing, shouting at each other, um, and it wasn't that way the whole drive home because at the first we were just talking about thinking a little bit negatively, and then we were just like, no, fuck this, just going to put an offer out. And yeah, it was what it was. So I'll keep you posted. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for um, following the journey and the process. And hopefully it gives you a bit of inspiration to go and push for whatever you're doing, which is what I want to do. I don't, I don't want you to think, I, I want to document what I'm doing to, 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 to inspire you to go and do what you want to do. Um, yeah, exciting times. Have a great weekend and enjoy yourself. And I will see you guys next week.